a mysterious green comet could be visible to the naked eye in mid-September. A new comet is making its approach towards Earth, holding the potential to shine as brightly as the North Star Polaris. This celestial wanderer unveiled itself on the night of August 11, 2023, and was discovered by Japanese amateur astronomer Hideo Nishimura. Remarkably, this marks Nishimura's third comet discovery. What truly sets this discovery apart is that he spotted this incoming comet while it was traversing Earth's orbit, before any automated survey facilities like PanSTARRS, ZTF, or ATLAS, which tirelessly mapped the celestial expanse. During its initial detection, the comet exhibited an apparent magnitude of 10.4, which translates to approximately 40 times dimmer than a star on the cusp of being visible to the naked eye. Currently, the comet is undergoing a process of intensification as it draws nearer to both Earth and the Sun. As of August 26, its magnitude has increased to 7.9, marking a substantial tenfold surge in brightness compared to the night it was first discovered. In this video, we will explore every detail we know about Comet Nishimura and how to increase your chances of spotting the celestial wonder in the coming weeks. The official name of the comet is C2023 P1 Nishimura. While this name may sound confusing and random at first, it's actually quite logical. Comets derive their names from a combination of the discoverer's name, the year of discovery, and other potentially significant details. When an astronomer identifies a new comet, they report their findings to the International Astronomical Union IAU a governing body responsible for naming celestial objects. The IAU's Minor Planet Center MPC, then handles comet designations. Initially, a newly discovered comet is given a provisional designation based on the object type, the year of its discovery, a letter indicating the half-month period of its discovery, and a sequential number. For example, C2023A1 signifies the first non-periodic comet discovered in the first half of January 2023. As observations confirm the comet's orbit, a formal name is proposed and reviewed by the IAU. Traditionally, comets are named after their discoverers or discovery teams, paying homage to their contribution. For instance, the well-known comet Hale-Bopp is named after its co-discoverers, Alan Hale and Thomas Bopp. In some cases, significant comets are assigned additional names to reflect their characteristics or significance. So C2023 P1 Nishimura is a non-periodic comet, and the first object discovered in the first half of August 2023 by amateur astronomer Hideo Nishimura. Comet P1 Nishimura is scheduled to come closest to Earth on September 12, 2023. Then, five days later, it will reach its perihelion, the point where it's nearest to the Sun. It's a bit unfortunate that the comet didn't pass by in December, as it would have been truly incredible. If it had done so, it would have passed at a stunningly close distance of only 0.06 astronomical units, which is about 9 million kilometers from Earth. The comet's orbit appears rather unusual. It surprised us by arriving from the southern direction near the Sun, which could be why it wasn't spotted earlier this summer. Comet P1 Nishimura is traversing a retrograde trajectory that is tilted around 129 degrees compared to the flat path of the planet's orbits, known as the ecliptic. This means it's moving in the opposite direction to the inner planets in our solar system. Additionally, the comet's orbital eccentricity seems to be slightly above 1, hinting that it's likely a new visitor to our solar system from the distant Oort cloud. Once it reaches its closest point to the Sun, it's likely that the comet will be propelled out into galactic space, heading towards the southern constellation of Pyxis. If you are a space fanatic like the rest of us, here's how to spot this comet on your own. First, you'll need to be an early riser, typically around one and a half to two hours before sunrise. Equip yourself with reliable binoculars or a telescope, as the comet's brightness hasn't reached a level visible to the naked eye yet. Seek out a location blessed with a dark sky, far from any significant light pollution. Ensure you're well prepared and have the comet's nightly route across the constellations marked to guide your gaze precisely. 
Above all, prioritize finding a spot that provides an unobstructed and clear view of the eastern-northeastern sky. This is where you'll be able to locate the comet. You can use a pair of prominent stars to guide you towards Comet Nishimura's location. Look for the two stars that indicate the heads of Gemini, Pollux, and Castor. If you draw an imaginary line connecting these stars and then extend it downward by roughly one and a half times the distance between these two stars, you'll find yourself in close proximity to where the comet will be situated, approximately 20 degrees above the horizon. A handy reference is to extend your clenched fist at arm's length, which measures about 10 degrees, allowing you to visualize that the comet will be positioned around two fists above the horizon. From August 26 through September 4, the comet's journey will lead it through the dim stars of Cancer, the constellation resembling a crab. Then, starting on September 5, the comet's trajectory will carry it across the upper section of the recognizable arrangement of stars called the sickle, which forms a reverse question mark and outlines the head and mane of Leo the Lion. As time progresses, Comet Nishimura will continue to increase in brightness. By September 5th, it is anticipated that it will reach fifth magnitude and potentially reach a level of brightness where it could be visible with the naked eye. Just four days later, its brightness may actually double, possibly reaching fourth magnitude. Unfortunately, with the comet drawing nearer the sun, its position in the east-northeastern sky will progressively lower during each successive morning. By September 9th, it will have descended to a mere 10 degrees above the horizon, roughly equivalent to the width of one fist as the twilight sky brightens. By dawn of September 12th, the comet will be positioned slightly above the horizon. Despite the possibility of brightening to the third magnitude, the combined effects of the lingering twilight and any potential haze at such a low altitude will present substantial challenges, if not making it entirely impossible to observe the comet. This will likely be your last chance to catch a glimpse of it. Some astronomers suggest that the best time to spot the comet is on the day it is passing closest to the Sun, September 17th. They propose it will be visible during the evening, positioned almost directly above the Sun during sunset. By this point, the comet might have reached a brightness to the level of a second magnitude. However, it will be positioned a mere 11 degrees away from the Sun meaning it will almost certainly be drowned out by the intense solar glare. Because of a brief six-day period of observation, the comet's future path is poorly known. Should its eccentricity surpass 1, it indicates that P1 Nishimura is tracing a hyperbolic trajectory, and after its perihelion, it will exit the solar system, disappearing from view forever. While P1 Nishimura might not join the ranks of memorable comets like Neowise, Leonard, or Hale-Bopp, there's another comet heading our way with the capacity to outshine even the most brilliant stars in our night sky. Say hello to Comet C2023A3 Suchin Shan Atlas. This remarkable cosmic entity made its debut in early 2023, originating from a distance of roughly 7.3 astronomical units from Earth. It's rapidly making its approach towards us and holds the potential to become the brightest comet of the decade. Should this comet behave as expected, it should become visible through small telescopes in early summer 2024. By late September of that same year, there's a chance that it might even become visible to the naked eye, or potentially through binoculars, as a celestial presence lingering on the low eastern horizon prior to sunrise. At this time, the question of whether the comet will feature a tail remains uncertain, as this is dependent on the comet's age and level of activity. During the first few days of October 2024, Comet A3 will very closely pass by the Sun as viewed from Earth, causing it to vanish from our sight. It should emerge once again in the Northern Hemisphere sky after October 11th or 12th, 2024. At this point, it will appear in the sky following sunset and gradually ascend higher with each passing evening, making it easier to observe. If circumstances unfold as expected, Comet A3 could surpass the brightness of the majority of stars visible at night. Unfortunately, however, predicting the behavior of comets is a challenge, given the uncertainties involved. Therefore, all that remains is for us to exercise patience as we await the approach of this unique cosmic visitor. We hope you enjoyed this video, 
and please join us next time for another dose of thrilling space-related news.